This is Functual Madeira in Portugal. Madeira is an awesome place for adventure and nature lovers. It's an autonomous region of Portugal. It's an archipelago comprising of four islands off the northwest coast of Africa. Madeira is a fantastic place to try wild swimming, from a natural volcanic swimming pool such as this to serene freshwater bathing areas. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Go on a 4x4 off-road up the mountain, go paragliding, or try hiking on the many trails they have. Our number four stop is the port of Cadiz. They are now letting us off the ship so we can explore the island. We are off to another adventure. For today, I hired a private tour guide called the Mountainside Expedition. And here's my tour guide for today. Madeira Island is the emergent top of a massive shield volcano that rises above six kilometers from the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. With the pleasant subtropical weather and the volcanic soil, most of the island can grow just about anything such as papayas, bananas, sugarcane, and a wide variety of more. There are a lot of vineyards in the northern part of this island. Perhaps you have heard of the famous Madeira wine. The capital city, Funchal, has also botanical gardens and it's known for its beautiful harbors. One of the great experiences I had here was hopping in back of a 4x4 and I was hanging on to dear life while taking a video of the area. This trail is on this mountain peak which leads up to the famous plateau at the top that is about 1,150 meters above sea level. Hey, this is a, there's a bunch of eucalyptus trees around here, eucalyptus forest It was a fantastic view at the top. We finally reached the top of the mountain, which is a plateau called Paul the, Sar the Serra. It was so quiet, it was like we were above the clouds. It's coming, yeah, I see the fog. Here at the plateau begins the trail called Vereda del Fano. Hikers from all over the world come here. Part of this trail is Lori Silva's forest, 
which is a natural place declared as the World Heritage Site by UNESCO. And the laurel trees are a valuable relic from the past. We have reached Porto Moniz. It's a village known for its lava swimming pools. Even though you don't intend to go swimming, it is recommended that you walk around and admire this beautiful place, for it is spectacular. The pools are both shallow and deep, so you can choose to either sit, lounge, or swim in the salty water. I have never seen one like this before. Oh, by the way, access to this place is free of charge. Yes, I said it's free, no charge. Now we are on our way to see the black sand beaches in Seychelles as we drive by this little village. Here is another swimming area that is protected from the crashing waves by a wall of lava rocks. And nearby is the black sandy beach. It is black sand due to the volcanic nature of the area. Some people have chosen to go ahead and swim even though the weather is still cold. For another breathtaking view, we went to the Cabo Girao, which is one of the highest cliffs in the world at 589 meters high. This place also is a perfect place to watch paragliders soar up in the sky. Another favorite lookout point is the Ribeira de Janela, which means creek or river of the window. This parish here, little village, used to be an old whaling port. The name Ribeira de Janela was inspired by the stack of rocks. When you look at the rock from a different angle, you can see that there is a keyhole on the rocks the hole was likened to a window where the river can be seen. The extremely mountainous and the various volcanic rock formations of this island led to the construction of an important road network of tunnels. There are over 100 road tunnels, with the longest being over 3 kilometers. It looks like there are more to explore in this little island that I was not able to see. But the warm subtropical weather in the Mediterranean Sea and its many magnificent sights has convinced me to come back again. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and make a comment, please. 
Coming up is another port of call of our 11-day cruise. Until next time, so long.